I won over a hundred dollars worth of stuff on so rare during this week. Let's go over it. So I'm ATG so rare, if you guys don't know on the Sower in the States podcast, we have shows every week. Make sure you guys check it out, but I to do a little something different and open up some rewards. Uh, so we can go over my game week first and uh, see how I won these rewards. So if we go to pro last week, we, uh, we start off champion America team ended up selling that, uh, everybody was going for almost two X to three X what I purchased them for. So I just got rid of them. It, it made most sense because it's very hard to win limiteds. Uh, when it comes to in season, I got $5 from this right here, which, uh, Brian white went crazy. I'm very happy about that. Leuven finally got a decisive. So he got a nice score. Mira, who I was expecting to do a lot better, maybe even keep a clean sheet. Ended up conceding two, not getting the clean sheet. And Ladero came on as a sub in this game. Over here, uh, over here, nothing. He'll, I put him in just in case he played and he did not. Same thing with Otero. Over here, I was surprised. Again, Memo sold this lineup pretty bad. I was close to a reward, but didn't get it. Also, didn't even get promoted, which kind of sucks. Down here, we had a decent lineup. We only got a box, but... Willis Zimmerman would hope for a clean sheet. Again, classic season, uh, challenger, and just challenger in general. It's very hard to win rewards uh, nowadays if you're not banging out a 400 plus. Uh, and this was just sort of putting Fede in a lineup with somewhere that he has maybe a decent floor. Ab uh, Chiberko did not play in either game, got rotated twice. Um, and Ariola just couldn't get a decisive, so that's fine. Over in U23, we have our first card reward. I got a tier four. Andres Gomez with a big game. Same with Schulte, keeping a clean sheet. Jack McGlynn scored a beautiful goal. Santi got some AA and Tolkien got some AA. Would have liked for a little bit more from them. Uh, even maybe a decisive from Santi would have put this probably up to a two, tier two, maybe even a tier one. Uh, over to Global All-Star. Got rid of this lineup. Didn't win anything. Not even, uh, you know, boxes you can't get from All-Star. Wasn't close enough to that. Just uh, Espinosa's captain was just not it. Uh, over an all-star though ended up getting a tier four ryan gould hit like an 85 cucho hit 100 espinoza again really poor in this double game week i really would have liked to see him do something especially having two pretty manageable matchups and we didn't get a clean sheet from either of these guys uh in either of the two games next let's go down to cap 240 and this is where we get a majority of the reward 80 bucks from cap 240 that's right uh dewan jones with a decisive you're in with the decisive yo Vuj with a decisive and a clean sheet from Clark, along with the big games from Sviatchenko and that clean sheet against Charlotte. Super nice. Was able to bag a tier four and $80 from that middle threshold. That's two in a row for me uh, for middle threshold uh, because of the double game weeks. Over in 220, sort of a throwaway. Frifa got a goal and Ladero did not start. This one, I was really hoping for something in. This was one of my prior lineups. Tillman didn't score high enough. We were really close. Five points off. Abada didn't score high enough. We need a, we need better, and we have El Trafico coming up, so my LAFC guys, hopefully, with also a double game, we should bang. Uh, this 240 didn't get close enough. We didn't get a decisive from Gutierrez, although his team did score many goals, and Bayer which didn't get one either. Gavron's air led to goal bumped me out of this threshold. Hate to see it really do. And also, Hector Herrera had a goal, which ended up turning into an own goal, so that kind of sucks. Uh, and then over here, just a Frifa and Melia chilling. Nothing too crazy to report there. So that is everything you need to know about my game week. I have some upcoming lineups that I will go over after we open these rewards and maybe even see if we can go shopping a little bit with uh, with some of this money. So we have, first of all, some Ethereum from Cap240 Rare, $80, huge. And we also have some Ethereum from Challenger in season, $5. Love to see it. Uh, we can go over here and claim this Challenger Classic season. Uh oh, what are we doing? So rare. <laughs> what are we doing? All right, can't can't get anything right here. Ah, uh, so we have the two limiteds first. We got uh, a nice amount of coins uh, with nine hundred. So we'll start off with All Star. All Star can be hit or miss with the pools. Hoping just for uh, MLS guys. We got an American defender from Nashville. Who we got? Bauer. Okay, so. He is a rotational guy for Nashville. Uh, I don't know what his current situation is. I'm thinking of, yeah, Josh Bauer. That's right. Um, we have one of their center backs is injured. I think it's 
McNaughton that's currently injured. So he might actually be getting playing time. Oh, he's right back. Okay. So he's the in with Shaq Morgan. Okay, that makes sense. So he's been getting some play. Nothing crazy. And he's probably about to lose a spot when Shaq Moore comes back. So that's not that great, especially with his contract expiring. He's young, but still. Uh, next up, we have another limited. This is U23. So maybe someone sneaky good for the MLS. Uh, that'd be really nice to have. Italian midfielder from Sassuolo, Christian Volpato. I actually have never heard of this guy before. I don't really pay attention to any of the, some of the, some of the leagues, uh, Syria included when it comes to the bigger leagues. So he's 20, $2.50 is his floor. And he is a very rotational player for Sassuolo. And he plays right mid, right attacking, mid, right side. Okay. That is where Berardi was, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure what uh, what his status is now. But, yeah, it looks like this is just sort of a sit-on or just get rid of in a trade. More likely, just get rid of uh, Instabuy or something like that. Auto-buy. Uh, and now we have our last card, which is the Tier 4 Rare. Hoping for just some MLS utility. Preferably a midfielder, just to be able to produce more lineups. Because I have a lot of forwards, a lot of defenders, and I have enough goalies. So, a midfielder here would be super nice. Let's see if we can get something good. English, okay, forward, and okay, Brewster, I've heard the name. That actually looks super nice with the jersey match, I will say. Let's check it out, because he just got relegated, so maybe he's going to go bang in the uh, in the championship. Ryan Brewster, let's see, let's see. Really rotational player, worth about $10, 876 floor. In and out. Okay. Where does he start? So he is a striker. Uh, who is their current strikers? So they had Brent uh, Barreton, Barreton, who is the Chilean and you know, Cameron Archer, I believe. Uh, so yeah, that's not the best, but the card looks cool. And I can probably get something for it because if he's going to be in the championship, maybe he gets even a better chance to play. So yeah, got over $100 worth of rewards. We got one box. Um, cause I didn't really play challenger at all. So I guess just hoping for some essence here. Maybe we can pull even a card, a decent card. The best, uh, oh, we're lagging. The best card that I've ever gotten from uh, a box was a Admonson back when he was a tier one. So here we go. And it's just a level up. That's sort of expected. It was, eh, you, you don't expect much, but that is all one over a hundred dollars worth of rewards. I would say I'm very happy. I'm probably going to go try to shop for a rare midfielder. I'm looking at Forsberg. Um, I'm looking at maybe even trading up some of the guys that I already have for Gould. Just trying to figure something out because rare and uh, rare challenger, rare all-star is where I'm trying to go with. I think I'll go back to challenger and hopefully those PSV stacks don't completely kill me when those start back up. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want more rewards openings, maybe with Jorge and Chris, maybe with other people that want to hop on, you can just, you know, even bigger game weeks can provide even better rewards. And so, yeah, make sure to subscribe, like, uh, comment what you guys pulled from your rewards. I'm very interested to see, you know, what, what you guys are doing, what lineups you guys are pulling. Um, yeah, that's all. Thank you guys for watching and see you either on the show or in the next rewards opening. Peace.